Welcome to the eTab Spell Interface demonstration. The objective of this demonstration is to highlight the key features of eTab Spell Interface and how to perform a bidirectional data exchange between the two tools. As it is shown, a project can be initiated in either eTab or Spell and be exchanged between the two tools as many times as necessary. In this example, the project has been initiated in eTab. The network contains power source, branches, bus bars, and different types of loads such as motor, static load, and lump load. In order to run load flow study before performing the data exchange, it is important to make sure that the required data has already been entered. This can be checked in the info page of the component as well as the nameplate page for the motor in this case. By switching to the load flow module and running the study, it is verified that data has been entered completely. Before exporting the project to a spell, the project needs to be in the edit mode. By clicking the file menu, data exchange, and a smart plan electrical, the interface options can be shown. The options are import spell project, export ETAP project, import and export cable libraries, and finally mapping table which will synchronize the mapping between the two tools. If the mapping table is selected, the default mapping table will run and it will create a file to be used for a spell site to synchronize the mapping on the spell site as well. In the default mapping table, the mapping between the spell and ETAP items as well as their properties will be shown. A user has an option to change the mapped properties, direction of the mapping, and also append new mapping properties. Now, by pressing the OK button, the project is ready to be exported. The export option can be found in the file menu, data exchange, and smart plan electrical as export ETAP project data. When the export option is selected, eTab will ask for the location of the file to be saved. The exported file will be saved as XML format. In the Spell site, there are some settings which need to be set prior to retrieving the project as well as running the mapping table in the Options Manager. Spell will use the created mapping file by eTab in order to synchronize the mapping between a Spell and eTab. After synchronizing the mapping, in order to retrieve the sample project in Spell, the Retrieve command needs to be selected in the Tools and then eTab interface. By clicking the Retrieve command, Spell will ask for the location of the XML file exported from eTab. When the file is selected, the Retrieve process will begin and Spell will create and save the corresponding items in the to-do list. When the process is done, Spell will create a list of the tasks in to-do list, which contains all the retrieved tasks. All the tasks can be selected and run at once in order to save them in the Spell database. The retrieved items in Spell can be explored under the electrical index. Also under the electrical engineer window, the retrieved plant can be expanded and shown as a tree view. The editor page of one of the items such as motor can be checked in order to verify that the property data has been transferred correctly and completely from eTab to Spell. As shown in this example, the load data page has all the correct data for motor 7. Now, some modification actions can be performed to verify if eTab updates the property values in return. For example, the horsepower of the motor can be changed in this case. Another load also can be added to bus 4 in this example so ETAP can create some add actions in importing back the published data 
from a spell. Entering the data in the editor is necessary in order to verify if the data for the newly added item will be reflected in eTab as well. Now, the single line diagram or SLD can be created in spell by selecting an element in the electrical engineer. For the published purpose, the SLD should be set to an electrical analysis SLDs option. The generated SLD can be viewed here. In order to publish the SLD, the single line diagram needs to be saved. The saved document can be published to an external analyzing tool with a given name and the XML file format. At this stage, the published XML from the spell can be imported to ETAP. This can be performed by selecting the Import Spell Project Data option from the Smart Plan Electrical menu. Then the import process will begin. When processing of the data is finished, ETAB will ask to import the items. At this point, user needs to select the modified and added elements in the Accept Reject Action list, then continue to import. As it is shown in this example, lump load has been added to the one-line diagram in ETAP along with its property values displayed in the nameplate editor page. Furthermore, Motor 7 has been updated with the horsepower value from 250 horsepower to 150 horsepower. Now, load flow can be run in order to make sure that the data exchange has been performed completely. 